Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very warm Suarez HQ this evening. It's Wednesday, it's 7.30pm where we are. I hope you're good where you are. Can't thank you enough for tuning in. We're doing something fantastic tonight. We can't wait to get going. So right now, I think it's time to roll VT. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and a very, very good evening to one and all, especially if you're new here. We'll say some hellos very, very shortly. Got to tell you, it's very, very, very hot here today. We've shot a little video. We'll show you in a, in a few minutes, but I'll just show you just how hot it was. But my goodness me, so we're doing this under very, very warm conditions, and it's very claustrophobic, and this place just holds the heat. So, yeah, we're going to try not to pass that out and deliver a really good uh, hour and a bit for you this evening. So, how is everybody? I hope you're keeping well. I hope your week has been good. Welcome back if you were here last week. Great to see you all again. And if you're new, hello and a very, very good evening. Now, a couple of things I just wanted to talk about before we get going, and trust me, can't wait to get going this evening. Uh, we'll do some hellos and some shout outs as well. We'll do them early doors and then we'll do them throughout the broadcast. Um, now, you may or may not be aware, hopefully you are, we've got this big painting giveaway. We're giving away two original Suarez paintings. I know, unbelievable. But it's to celebrate getting to 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, which we're almost there with. Okay, so we're doing the draw, 12th of June. We've got the video on the channel. Please go watch it if you haven't already done so. Big thing here, guys, is if you haven't entered and are going to enter, make sure you don't put your email address in the comments, all right? Bit of housekeeping. Follow what it says on the video. You'll find it all makes complete sense, but make sure you enter it, okay? Because you can win. We're trying to give paintings away. So make sure you win. Anyone you think would like it, send them a link, get them to watch the video, put them in the drawer. Okay, guys, but don't share your email on the comments. That's all we ask. Brilliant. Fantastic. So, um, okay, uh, next thing, I'm just going to quickly talk to you about what we're going to do today. So, this is the last time we're going to be using the painting barrel and uh, Aidy's immense creation, well, for now anyway. And, uh, yeah, so this one, we used this last week. It was amazing what we did last week, and we'll show you some of that in just a little while, because we want to show you just how it all came out. Um, but you guys were, were saying, let's just finish this off and see what happens. So. At your popular request, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to now tonight, uh, do so, we're going to do something with the ends first off and cover all the canvas up. And then we're going to start bringing the paint all together and fusing it all together in the middle. It's going to be unbelievable. So really special night coming up. Hey, they're all special because this is what we do. Okay. Did I mention it was hot? It's very hot. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think actually, just while we were talking about that, you may or may not remember if you were here last week, and curse you if you weren't, I'm only joking. We had the spin table underneath, so we had this rotating that way, and the spin table going that way, and we did two fantastic paintings underneath. So if you want to see what those came out like, well, this is a little segment we recorded earlier. So, AD, if you don't mind, my friend, roll the video. Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Do you know what? It's an absolute scorcher today. I mean like properly hot. Come and have a look at the temperature. This is the conditions we're working, you know. It has cooled a bit, but at the moment it's just a whisker under 30 degrees C. But when we came in today, that was 42 degrees C. So you can see the conditions that we're working in. Now I just wanted to take a moment, show you a few things we've been doing on the live streams. And uh, this is one of two that we did last week when we were using the rotating barrel machine. Amazing colors. The gold looks fantastic. It really is just, just a superb painting. Very, very happy with that one. As you can see now as it spins around. But it's just come out amazing. If you haven't seen the technique, please go, do go and watch the video because like I say, they just turned out brilliant. 
Now this was one of the other ones that we did. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it in the sunlight. But wow, I mean the colours, the forms, just magnificent. So we got a brand new technique that we, was never been used in the world before and we smashed it last week and created these two. Amazing. And as if that wasn't enough, I want to show you this one as well. Look how beautiful this looks in the sunlight. So this has just gone onto the website. It's called Phoenix from the Ashes. It's just the most magnificent paint. I absolutely love it. Well, we both do, and it's come out so well. Everybody loves it on social media. Again, if you haven't seen that being painted live, do go check it out on the channel. But it's amazing. It's going to be really sad to see that one go when somebody buys it. But yeah, Phoenix from the Ashes, live on the website now. Amazing colours. And check out that gold. I mean, it is absolutely insanely beautiful. So that's the kind of things we've been doing on the last few weeks of live streams. It's going to be a scorcher tonight, guys. So I hope you enjoy tonight's broadcast. <laughs> wow, who is that guy? Hey, oh, look at that on there. It's brilliant. Hey, I think we have some fun last week. That's fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that. We, uh, we just wanted to show you what was going on. Okay, so here's me at the laptop. Right, shall we do some shout-outs, ladies and gents? I think we should. Let's go from the top. Tina Lanning is here. Funny Fox, good evening to you. Derek Austin is here, good evening. And we've got Angela Smith, Devanda Studios, Ian Owens is getting ready with a... Is he getting ready with a cup of tea? I hope so. Right, uh, who else we've got? Artfish42 from Connecticut, good evening to you. James Sims, good evening to you, James. Grab the lads, you've got your coffee with you. And who else we got? Paul is here. Paul Burry is here. Yes, we, we met Paul and Donna yesterday and uh, who have bought a couple of, of original paintings. So to Paul and Donna, thank you very much for having us yesterday. It was such a pleasure to see you. Thank you for your lovely words and your email. It's just been an absolute pleasure. Myself and AD, we'd just like to thank you for that. So they're joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So let's show them some love. And uh, that's that's fantastic to see you guys here. So let's go down the list. Oh, there's lots of people here. This is fantastic. Right, who else can we give a shout out to? So let's see, shall we? So I said James, didn't I? And Paul is here, which is fantastic. Vince Edmonds, formerly Rather Line. Uh, Wayne Tully, good evening. And Elizabeth Kay is here. Tanya's joined us. Good evening, Tanya. Denise Weeks, Shannon Collins. Nana Maya has made it. Tony Harrison, good evening, Tony. And Marion and Denise. Uh, this is fantastic. Callie Carrie Shocker is here. Good evening to you as well. Did I say Elizabeth Kay was here? Great. Zane. Zane has joined us from New Zealand. Eugene. Eugene. That's. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but good evening to you. Thank you for joining us this evening. This is great. Uh, Sackett Arts is here. Paul Chapman is here. It's Wednesday. Yay. I like your play on words there. Our third eye open is here saying hello to Ed and Andy. Andy, would you like to say hello to the ladies and gentlemen? Good evening. So, uh, uh, the uh, the man in control of what goes on outside the tent, so everything you can see going on in here is controlling all the audio and video and feeds. Massive, massive shout out to Andy. Uh, we can't do it without him, so thank you very much. Anna Erickson is here. Good evening, Anna. Anna. And Leslie is here from NYC. Hannah Lips is here. Uh, Denise Weeks, so I said that, is here. Good evening, how are you? And uh, let's have a quick whiz down the list and then we can get on. A Schweirer Vaid says hello. There's some very interesting names coming to the scene. Katie Herring is here. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you, Katie. Yes, please. Give us a thumbs up because we're going to have some great fun tonight. Guys, show your appreciation. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, we still on corner cam, buddy. Yes, don't forget to give us a subscribe, ladies and gents, because that's how you get to see it all. All right, turn the notification on, click your bell icon, hit the subscribe button. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, great stuff. So, who else have we got here? Angelica is here. Uh, Nikki J. Good evening, Nikki J. I said hello to Zay. Adelaide. Oh, Daisy Longmire. And uh, Jeffrey Jenkins is here. Good evening, Paul Ambler Art is here. Henry the Artist and the Rita is here. Oh, this is fantastic. Everyone's saying hello. Oh, James Sims. James Sims is, what? You've sent us a $20 donation. James, thank you so much. Oh, oh. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah! 
that, James? Thank you so much. Just doing that in the chat. Wow. My dude, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. That's so kind, really. Thank you ever so much for that. Whew. Wow, we have got off to a start. Thank you so much. Tina Lan oh, sorry, um, uh, Lucy Blake. Swamp Yankee Guitars. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Gaz Rogers is here with a big hello. Uh, Richard Wills is here. Good to see Richard here again. And I think, does that kind of get us up to date? Trove Bespoke is here. Oh, right. So Sackett, Sackett Art, Arts has got 45 degrees C. Wow. That is seriously hot. Oh, and Pinky Pie is here. Good evening to you both. Good luck in the heat. Thank you very much indeed. Pinky Pie is here. I wonder. Trove Bespoke is here. Better late than never. Yes, detention, because you're late. Uh, right, okay, fantastic. Right, I bet you're so pleased with... Hello. Okay, that's it. Good evening, Pinkie Pie. How are you? Fantastic. Okay, so let's make a start, shall we? Okay, fantastic. Oh, Casanova Art and Experience. An expression Richard is here. Felicia, I can't speak that, but I think it says greetings or hello. Good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening. We'll come back to the chat. Guys and girls, don't worry. We've got loads to do this evening. Let's make a start, shall we? Right. Andy is going to go and stick the extractor on, and then we're going to have a little walk through the cameras. Okay, so just for now, I've no idea which camera we're on, but we're probably on the corner cam. Uh, are we? Yes, I think we are. So he's going to pop the extractors on. So now it's about to get very, very noisy in here, ladies and gentlemen. And then uh, we're going to show you what's going on. are working and he's back right so we know corner cam is working that's fine oh. let's go on to overhead shall we let's go around here so overhead cam let's give overhead cam a wave good evening overhead cam all the best let's go to corner ptz cam hello every everyone yay check it out and finally chest cam is go 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 and look what i'm going to be using to start off with now I would just like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, whilst that looks black, it's not quite black. It's actually a very, very dark blue. So come over here with me. I'm going to grab myself some uh, some brushes. And we're going to get some of this on. And then I'll explain to you exactly what we're going to do on either end. So while we're on chest cam, it's like you're just sat here with me, isn't it? This is your bird's eye view. This is what I go through. So let's. we're going to get some thinners in here. So we've got thinners. Now this is a standard mineral thinning compound. There's nothing too technical about it. What it does, it just breaks down some of the uh, molecules in the paint. And uh, as it turns to go on a little bit better, let's not get bogged down in the technical. Is everyone okay? Are we all good? Are we all having a chat with each other? I hope so. Right, so. So hello again, corner cam. So you're going to be watching me putting this on. So that's given that a really good sort of dollop round. Now, if we could just lit whiz on just a chest cam for a moment, buddy, that would be awesome. Now, can we just see, perhaps, the element of blue in there? So it's got a very slight metallic in it, so it's really nice, deep blue, not quite black. It has this appearance of black, but we're going uh, to soon whiz in with that. And I'm going to start up this end, you know, and we'll start. I'm going to start now. Are we ready? I'll count us in on three, two, one. Here we go. The machine is on. Happy days. Yay! Now, initially, I'm just going to get some of this on. Okay, so I want to get this. This is just to cover the canvas up because what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to need to work quite quick here. That is on the slow setting, isn't it? Do you know what? When you're trying to paint, it actually does feel quite, quite quick. And this is on definitely on the slowest setting. So that's quite interesting in itself. Now. One of the reasons, I'm going to have to just stop that for a second. 
Okay, so let's just do this quickly. One of the reasons why, as you can probably see on the camera, that I've got, yeah, that's better, I can just do that a bit quicker. Why I've got the canvas on the floor is because as we start putting the paint on in some quantity, it's gonna start dripping off. And over the last two weeks when we've done this, we've had some quite stunning and phenomenal results come out uh, by letting well, really physics do the work. And it's been really quite remarkable. So I put some more canvas down there this evening. Now, at the moment, I haven't put anything on it. So this is just organi organically put the drips. And I'm going to keep doing this. So I'm going to switch sides now. And I'm just going to come around the other side. So this is really only a proprietary coat, just literally just to get the canvas covered. Now, I've done. Uh, Oh, I see now, Katie Herring, you, yeah, you said that Suarez Blue is luscious. Now, you are, you are indeed correct. It's a beautiful colour, unique to ourselves. But this one is quite a few shades darker. So in actual fact, at the moment, anyway, Katie, we're not using Suarez Blue. But I could be tempted, as the evening rolls on, to, um, to maybe get the Suarez Blue out. OK, so it shouldn't, it's only going to take us uh, a minute, so we can have a little random chat while I'm just applying some paint here. The really nice thing about thinning it now, uh, well there are two real reasons, obviously from a technical standpoint it allows me to cover a greater surface area in a faster time, which is always good because it means I can get onto the proper fun stuff, but also by keeping it fairly liquid I can extend the drying time on it a little bit so what happens is, is as we start then to put paint across it, it'll start to have some very unusual and weird and wonderful effects to it. So really, just getting this on as quickly as possible, guys. Okay, we're gonna do this on both ends, and then we're gonna start applying the paint over the top. Ah, Judy Fleming has said aloha and good morning from Hawaii. I love that everybody joins us from all across the globe. It's fantastic. I love hearing where you guys are. So yeah, if you wanna give us a shout out from your particular location, please do so. Let us all know where you are. Okay. Right, so, I know we've done that. Right. Hi guys, 33 viewers, fantastic. 14 likes, hmm. Why aren't people hitting that thumbs up button? Hmm, that like button? Hmm, hmm, please. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, as AD says, if, uh, yeah. Come on, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, show us the love. All right, here we are, baking and roasting like an oven-ready chicken. All in the name of art. Ah, suck it, there's love from India, hello. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're suffering with the heat tonight, aren't you? I can tell. Right, okay, so we're gonna quickly do this on the other end. I don't wanna cover up too much of the orange and then we're all systems go. So, and this is when I need to start and think about what color I'm going to start with. Thank you for doing the like, Tanya. That's excellent. That's it. Let's see if we can start a trend now. If you haven't liked already, hit that thumbs up button. That's it. Okay. So, in just a matter of minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's for the thumbs up guys, so thank you very much for that, that's great. Right, okay, almost ready to go. Now while I'm doing this in kind of semi... Oh, oh. Let's see if I can get that round to the right direction. Stop. Right, so we are starting to build the likes up now, guys, which is great. So keep hitting that button. I know you can only hit it once if you've done it. Um, but this is great. Good, so we're almost ready to go. Now, one of the things I've never done before <laughs> is gone to where it's dry and tried to put paint over where something has already dried from the week before. Now, if you were here last week, you, uh, you may remember that we were using this top canvas as a way to apply paint for what went on the bottom ones, which is what you saw in the videos, those gorgeous spirally ones. So 
this is somewhat of a challenge so we really are guys in uncharted waters this evening so I'm now challenged with the task of having to fuse kind of all this together and then have something in a very short while that is well pretty drop dead gorgeous so that's my challenge now I do have a plan in my head and we're almost ready to see how that's going to come out with this last little bit here and then we're ready to go so I'm thinking now already which kind of colour I'm going to go in with and that's the exciting bit now what do we all think who's going to suggest a colour to me see if we're all thinking along the same kind of lines and I'm going to start in the blue and I'm going to start moving across the canvas but I wonder if you can guess which colour I'm going to start with mm, let's see shall we right okay we're almost ready to start going Right, fantastic. So, can we guess? Let's have a look, see what everybody says. Uh, okay, my chat seems to have stopped working, but that's fine. I'm just going to press on anyway. Right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, me lagging. Uh, I did a refresh. We had a panic stations uh, one minute and 37 seconds before we were supposed to start. We lost internet, and I'm guessing... Um, the internet doesn't like the hot weather, so we're, we're kind of uh, on a wing and a prayer at the moment. So if we do suddenly disappear, that's the reason why. But hopefully, everything will be okay. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> yeah, it's, there's always seems to be some drama here just before we get going. It's it's crazy. Anyway, we're praying to the internet gods that we stay exactly with you guys for as long as possible. I'm sure we will. Right. Right, what have we got? There we go, now I'm back on. Lime green, yeah, bright pink, orange, red. Ooh. Oh, happy birthday to Natalie from three days ago. Fantastic. Just turned 50. Wow. Almost as old as us. Right, okay, so I'm going to completely break the tradition and uh, I'm going to start with a completely different colour just for now. Now, interestingly, all your comments, guys, is fantastic. I can't wait to get going with those. But I'm going to start with a fairly light colour, and this is always a staple favourite of mine, which is like this lovely kind of duck egg and blue, kind of verdigris kind of colour, and I'll come round here where you can see me. So I'm going to start by getting this on. I'm going to get some early bands going. Not too much, though. Don't want to put too much on. Because we're going to blend this round in just a short while, so you can hopefully see that going on. So get a little band there. I'm going to pop one just here. Remember, I'm trying to fuse all this together so it all looks seamless so big big challenge tonight guys okay so we'll just get a few of those on now i know some of this is going to drip onto what's down below but that's fine because i've got plans for that oh yeah now i'm also going to give this a spray so this is the spray that i was thinning the blue down with just not long ago you can see it going on in the glistening of the spotlights here in the pod tonight but this is to try and keep the paint as liquid as possible because i need this to keep moving Okay, brilliant. So that's a little soup song of that. And I'm going to carry on now then. And I'm going to keep the theme going. Because this always looks really nice with that blue. It's a great combination. This is slightly up the green end of the spectrum. Yeah, this is going to look fantastic. Look at that on chest cam. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look on that. Can you see just about see that i'm standing in front of the light so maybe if i go mm. so that's going on next okay right so let's do it from this side then i think ad is going to zoom in now to give you a better look at what's going on so again this is just some bands i don't want the band to move all the way around so i'm going to stop it and i'm going to replicate the band this side now of course towards the center the center is where i've already got the applications from last week so I've got two distinct problems here, one of which we've already mentioned and the fact that I'm trying to blend everything together but I've also got the odd spot here and there of canvas which has got no paint on it. So while this is rotating, I'm now trying to find my places where I can do some covering up but also some blending and then I've also got to remember <laughs> to keep it liquid. Oh and, and, and talk and uh, look at where my cameras are and all the other things and chat at the same time. So. I like having a bit of multitasking going on. This is good. It keeps me on my toes. Right. Okay, fabulous. Now, I want to go in with some cream as well. So 
This first initial stage, uh, guys, is just about me sort of layering up the, uh, the undertone colours. Let's get that down. So uh, Nicholas Caged is here. Uh, very nice to see you this evening. Hello, thank you for joining us. Are you a little wired, a little tired? <laughs> okay, so uh, what are we going to do on this end now? Which, uh, which one are we on, buddy? Which camera? Okay, it's a corner cam. So here we go, look. We're going in with some cream. Again, I'm going to start blending these very shortly, but I need to work quickly to get it on. Now, in my left hand, I got the special sauce. So Yay! it's double. There we go. Now, special sauce, if you don't know already, ladies and gents, is a mixture of quite a number of different chemicals, none of which I'm going to tell you about. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on this end here. Just get a couple of bands and I'm going to spray it as it goes on. Again, never done that before. So we're really just trying to go for it tonight. Like I said, I've got a rough plan in my head. Let's see how close I can get to it. All right, okay. So let's get that sped up just a little bit. Are we ready? Scream if you want to get faster. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're going quicker now. Right, let's really get this sped up. So on my little switch here. Whoa, it didn't fell off. No, it didn't. It's all right. Katie, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, I'm sure if you're on chat now, you can see what Katie's just written uh, in terms of uh, celebrating her birthday. But uh, that's quite a story you have, Katie. I'm, uh, I'm very glad you're here with us and able to join us this evening. So thank you for sharing that with us. Right, get this spread out a little bit. Maybe um, he was just uh, having a quick chat to me in my ear about something, so thank you very much for that, buddy. Okay, right, so we're gonna get this spread out a little bit. I'm probably gonna get knee deep in thinners in just a moment, so this is a great way for me to be able to understand how the paint's moving. So I'm just gonna gradually, gradually move this round so I can get a feeling for where I now need to apply the thinners. Yes, Richard Will, 5,000 RPM, yeah. If this is going to 5,000 RPM, I don't think I'll be standing this close to it. I'd like to say it'd be drying my hair, but I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, that's never going to happen, is it? Right, okay, so more thinners, let's get this moving. Okay, let's get this end going. Then we'll get some more paint on. I want to be queuing up the next couple of colours. We'll get the next couple of colours on, and we have a, a look at what you guys are chatting about. So we're just going, I want to go with the bands, really, for now. This is just trying to get... Um, things blended in with the blue so I'm quite conscious now about which colours are going to go blending in the blue. Uh, okay so we can just get these nice sort of finish bands put on. Time for finesse is a little bit later. Let's turn it the other way and see what we've got. See how that pans out. Now of course we've put the special sauce in so that again changes the properties of the paint which is really quite interesting. So I might even be getting my my uh, scraper out or even uh, a squeegee on it in a little while. We tried the squeegee last week, it's particularly awesome and I really enjoyed using it. But for now I'm just trying to get some featured bands on before we start going into the centre. Like I said, my uh, my main task is going to be try and fuse everything together. All right, so this early stage is just about me trying to figure out what's working and what isn't. Okay. Right, okay, so not too bad. Let's get a few more on there. Um, let's just get the car. Just... Aaron, this is just for you. Right. Okay, so have we all got, we can all hear me, can't we? Right, okay, right, good. So that's got some of that in, right. So who's up for a bit of Suarez Blue? I think we might have to get that in, but before that, I'm just going to pop a little purple on, and I'm really going to thin this down, so I want this to travel quite away now. So if I could just, there we go, get this in, get it moving, because when you get towards the end of a tin, 
Of course, you're trapping a lot of air inside the can, and these are all air drying, air curing enamel paints. So the more air you trap in the tin, the quicker it is to dry. So inevitably, the further down the can you get, you also tend to get it skinning a lot quicker. So usually, even within two or three days, they'll form a skin. So when we open the cans, as we get down, this is the most, most gorgeous purple. There you go. You can see it there. We have to fish the skin out. All right, whack it in the bin. No one wants that slopping around the painting. And there we go. So this is pretty nice. Okay, we're still on uh, chest cam, are we do? Look at that. Beautiful. It's even forming inside the tin. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to go on. Should we do it, ladies and gents? Should we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Great, excellent. If Shia says, do, or Shia says do it, I think we should do it. So this is going to form a really nice underpinning. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I, I just, I love paint. You can tell I love paint. I get really quite. Yeah. So Ada's going to have a little look down at the bottom now. There isn't an awful lot happening at the moment, but you'll see things are going to start to change on this as we go along. All right. So I'm going to get my, while Ada has a focus on that, I'm going to start spinning this out. Uh, I think I'll come this side, actually. Right, let's see what we can do now. Now this, hopefully, is almost going to be like a little skin coat. So this is going to start fusing everything together. So what I'm doing now with the scraper, it allows me to cover quite a wide area, so the bands are going to get slightly larger. Now the hope is, is now... Zane, this is for you. Right, okay, we try and please everybody, look. There we go. Okay, now, so that spread that out, so we're starting to fuse again. This is part of one of the most important things I can do here is actually just get everything running kind of into each other. Now, I know there are some underpinning colours and I'm not going to be losing those completely because the point of spreading all this out is, is that I'm actually going to keep some of the underpinning colours visible so that you can see them. So this is where I really have to feel what's going on underneath this, which is a very, very odd experience, actually, if I'm honest with you. So, uh, yeah, funny fox, thanks for making that, um, that, that uh, observation about the microphone. It's not that it just uh, goes off. Uh, what we're doing, we're using some noise suppression on it. And what that is uh, trying to do is uh, just to take some of the background noise out of it so things can stay relatively peaceful. Um, and then when my voice is cued in, it switches itself back on so you can just hear the voice. It's also quite handy, of course, because when AD is talking, um, we, we, we'll have less opportunity to talk over one another and cross over. So we're trying to do that just to enhance the audio experience. Um, and then you're not just listening to me huff and puff and grunt and groan every five seconds as I do my Darth Vader impression inside the mask. And um, so we're just trying to help, uh, you know, make the, uh, make the audio quality a little bit better for everybody. The, the extractor is a, a very noisy thing, so we're always trying to think of ways that we can uh, perhaps minimise the impact of that on everybody. And uh, you can just concentrate and listen on to the things that are really going on. So uh, as everything, it's a, it's a fluid thing. Uh, we're always trying to make things better for you, all right? But uh, any, any feedback is always great from the city. So, uh, so thank you for that question, Funny Fox, uh, an observation. We do appreciate it. Okay. Yes, Ian, you are correct. Okay, and we're back in the room. So, over here, we did have some yellows. Which camera are we on, buddy? Okay, fantastic. So we've got a band of lime. I want to keep the lime going. This is where I'm uh, now. I'm fairly happy with the ends. Uh, in fact, I'm going to give them a little spray. I want to start and pull all this together in the centre. That's the most important thing. So let's just keep this fluid. Let's just keep it working. Remember, we put our special sauce on, which is a mixture of some pretty funky chemicals. We're going to be using that again very, very shortly. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more colours on now in the bands. And what we're going to try and do is pull all this together so we have this 
beautiful fusion right to the center. I've got a really exciting thing to put in the center, which is just going to come straight out of left field. So don't go away, don't even move to make a cup of tea. So. <laughs> tense moment. Oh, I gotta keep still. Nice. Nice, 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 yes. No. Nice. I love, love this combination. I gotta keep so still. I can't multitask because I'm a bloke. Oh, I got it, yes. Woo! Sorry if that was a bit loud. <clears throat> right, okay, that's a relief. So, very interesting now. I want uh, one more colour, and I'm going to do the same again. You can, I'm going to come around so you can see me on the overhead. So where we've, I mean, we're going pretty quick on the barrel. I think I'm going to have to increase it to its max. Let's wind this baby up. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, you can see me on the overhead, I'm going to bring, accentuate this lime, because that's going to look really good. And over here where we've got the purple, which is really nice, I'm leaving that till the last. All these colours are fusing together. I might go in a little bit more with that gorgeous kind of ducked and blue just to kind of gradiate it over there. We're going to have some more white going on. I'm not going to put any more red on because red's going to kill it. Um, and then I'm going to do something like, what is he doing in the centre? But just you wait and see because I have a plan. I have a plan. One more colour on and then we're going to have a look at some chat, ladies and gents. Right, okay, two seconds everyone. 100% mate. Yeah, looking good. It's, it's moved a millimetre. We're just doing a roller check, ladies and gents. In fact, you could just switch on to the chest cam for us, buddy. That would be awesome. Let me... It... Drove is that right? A 30... When we get to 30,000 subscribers, a ride in the barrel should be the giveaway. What a fantastic idea. I love it. I love it. I think uh, every health and safety law is about to be broken. Wonderful, bring it on. Yeah, so uh, if you can switch on to chess gun, buddy, I'll just show the, uh, the, the ladies and gents what we're talking about. So, so you can see here on the rollers, uh, we put some marks on the lines. It's very sensitive to changes in, uh, in levels. So we just want to make sure everything is fine on the rollers, but yes, so it, it doesn't start fouling on anything because that's when motors get burned out and things start disappearing. Okay, brilliant, fantastic. So while lady has a little zoom in, okay, I want to dig out my next colour and then we'll have a little look on the old chat and see what's going on. So I'm going to pop a little bit while he's on, um, no actually I'll stay on this side and I've got a band here, you'll see it on the other camera, that I'm going to now attach the, uh, you can stay wherever you want mate, I'm just putting a liner over from the corner cam. Okay, brilliant. So that's that line now done. In fact, there's nothing left in that, so I'm done with that. Which is happy days. I want to give a quick one of this fantastic teal colour. Right, okay. Let's just give that a spin around. I've got to be really, really, really careful that I don't mess this up. It always gets tense, so this is my, yeah, be careful with my green, so I'm going to drop a little splosh in there, not too much. Okay, that's fine, I just need to attack that with uh, my, got a big purr. No, my squeegee, where's the squeegee gone? Here it is. I think we're going to have to get that going around a bit quicker, so three, two, one. Let's, let's get it quicker, and quicker again, that's more like it. Around the other side, I don't want to touch that one, but I do want to sort these out. So there we go. Now, can you see that on chest cam at all? Look at that. This is gorgeous. I wish you could see what this looks like here in the flesh. You know, there's something when you're creating things that when it all goes how you want it to, it, and you just think, wow, this looks amazing. So 
slightly different set of techniques tonight, guys. That's what we wanted to do, you know, just to try and ramp this up a bit. We've done, we've done a few things now with the barrel. Okay, uh, so Colin, thank you so much for uh, uh, for the shout out about the merch. Yes, we're still in the realms of designing it at the moment, um, but we're just going through the sample phases. We're looking at which products to do. We've got some amazing designs. They're looking fantastic. So we may be working with uh, with our suppliers to make sure you know that we've got something of real merit and real worth to give to you. So I'm hopeful. I'm just going to be ballpark here in the next three or four weeks. Hopefully, we should be able to. Um, to launch the range, okay, to launch the range, and, um, and we'll, we'll definitely let you know. And if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you can do so on the website, and you'll get access to all the early notifications about everything, all right? So that's also well worth doing as well, all right? Okay, fantastic. So, we're looking good. Right, so, let's go and have a look at some of your lovely comments. Uh, so, Zane Taylor, yes, yeah, surprisingly little on the floor tonight on the canvas. Yes, you're right, Zane. A lot of that is just because uh, with it not being so thick and gloopy, it's not forming the, 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 the lumps at the bottom because gravity's not taking it so far and it's being more spread out because I'm using the, um, the long squeegee, so that's probably that. Um, paint looked quite thick today. Oh, so it's all going very quick. Simon Durning, hello, Simon, it looks amazing. Um, the rotating is something we'll never see again. Well, you may do one day, but certainly not for quite a while anyway. Uh, do the enamel colours dry the same uh, as you see them now? Um, uh, well, the same as the when they are when they're wet. Water colour dries lighter and acrylics dry darker. Brilliant question, Rita. Exactly the same as they are. That is exactly how you'll see them when they're dry. Another reason why I love them. I think mean, they're fantastic. Uh, Funny Fox says, what's your favourite tool to use, Ed? Oh, I'll show you, actually. Um... I think it's a toss-up, actually, Funny Fox, let me show you. Uh, so we're on a piece of come around this way. So it will either be the woolen, I say woolen, mark obviously it's synthetic. This is a fantastic tool. When you get that full of paint, you can make some amazing shapes. And the, the wallpaper scrub, the sort of tile grouter, is the other one. So they're the preferred tools of choice. Uh, ironically, not a paintbrush. <laughs> How strange is that? Okay, back on corner cam. Nelson, see you. Good evening, Nelson. Unconditional fan reaching success always. That's really kind of me. Thank you. Is Natalie, Natalie going? Is she? That's a shame. Tanya says it's looking great so far. Can't wait to see your idea for the middle. Excellent. Yeah, the Rita, that is cool. Um, and, uh, okay, so this is good. Right, so Swamp Yankee is asking how we kept the canvas on the barrel. Well, it's quite easy, actually. In fact, I'm going to show you. So let's just stop that for a second. Now, it depends. This would be quite interesting, actually, to give our eyes a rest for a moment so we can see what's going on. Let me just bring that round so I can show. There we go, exactly how it's done. So on chest cam, then, my friend, so you, you can't really see, but here we've stapled it. Actually, if you can see on the on the edge, we put a a, um, a foam board, uh, which is used in the sign making industry, so it's flexible and allows it to go all the way around the barrel. And on top of that, we then use a piece underneath, which is stapled, to catch the gap in between the canvas because the canvas doesn't go all the way around. It's just how the canvas is made. That's the width of it. And uh, the rest of it is just stapled. And the sky board underneath, which is what it's called, the foam board, allows us to staple really ultimately as, as often as we want so it's a brilliant way of being able to uh, to secure it okay fabulous let's go back to slow for a second give our oh that's fast no that's better that oh my lord that is going quite quick no there we go got it round the wrong way thanks I was just talking in my head right good so let's give that a little uh, dip it over with the special sauce because I can see the metallics might be starting to dry now, so I need to keep those liquid. Now the great, great thing about this is the more I put on, the more bizarre things happen. And I'm especially going to need that centre to have plenty of this with what I've got planned for it, so do not go away. Now I'm just looking at where all my gaps are, which is absolutely fine. So I think, excuse me, I'm just going to pick my next colour, which I think we're going to have to do it as a lime green. Oh, yes. 
Right, so now you can see us on all cameras. One of my favourite shots, you can see exactly what's going on. And there's me shaking up the can in the corner. So I'm going to get the can on now. Now, I will tell you something else as well, ladies and gents. We will, at a point in time, be doing this outside of the pod. So we're going to shift this, potentially, to another place in the building. And the hope is I can do it without the mask on. So we're going to be changing the paints, making quite a few significant changes. Um, and we'll be doing it all again somewhere else. So there's a lot of challenges faced with doing that. But it's one of the things we want to do to try and keep making our streams interesting. And uh, so that's coming up, uh, yeah, in, in the near future. So watch this space. Okay. So I'm really pleased with the green line here. So we're going to continue with the lime green and I'm just going to wiggle this on because this is going to get now a little bit spaced out with the squeegee but that's fine and next to it we've got the pink the pink's fairly consistent as it is so I'm not going to go too too health leather on that but the other thing I want to do now is just pull out a little drop more cream here because this is going to be important for what we're going to do and it's this centre really that's going to be the ha ha centrepiece I know I couldn't wait for that of the actual painting right so we're gearing ourselves up now to uh to going through that now one of the things i do want to do just before doing anything else is i'm going to get a little dab of a uh, i'm going to get in with the fingers now ladies and gents we're going in with some silver and i'm just gonna just gonna get in uh yeah simon durant yes if you want to come you come down we love having people here visitors are great we love showing people what goes on here if, uh, if you do ever make it here, you're very, very welcome, of course, and we'll show you everything you want to know. I mean, you really can't kind of really get your head around it. When you see the whole space and exactly what we do here, it's, even if I do say so myself, without being big-headed, it's, it's pretty impressive. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you so much. That's a great comment. Oh, sorry, Denise, my apologies. Uh, Denise, thank you very much for that. Yeah, um, co colour is, color is a very personal thing. Everybody reacts differently to it. AD and I have our own favourites, just as we all do. But the one thing we should never be is afraid of it. And uh, I think as time goes on, we find out that, that we're less and less afraid of doing particular things. And it won't hurt you, it won't bite you, but it's when you can properly find the things that do it for you, you just can't get away from that and that's when you know that you've, had, you've hit solid gold talking of which there's a good segue we're going in with the gold i've got to show you this if you've never seen Yay! the gold before the gold is one of the stars of the show because i'm very shortly going to be getting you back out and squeegee because i want to blend a few of these lines in look how yummy that is can we see that on the on the corner can buddy without me spilling it on the floor So straight from the can here. Now the, I love blue and gold together. I mean, I just think they're the most classic combination. So I want to get a little bit of this gold in. The gold features an awful lot in the work here. I can't help it. I, I, I don't apologize for it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And this particular one that we get is just outrageously good. So we're just going to get a few slivers of this here and there. And here it doesn't need to be too much, just gives you a little soup on. So make sure that's in there. I'm not going to feature any down at the bottom. It could be the top, who, who knows. And I'm just going to grab my scraper. Uh, no, my squeegee. Now I've lost that. How do I lose something so large? Oh, do I put it up here? Someone's going to tell me. Ah, there we go. He's a good boy. Okay, let's get that just cleaned off. Now we're coming up to the finale, folks. This is going to be the big finale. Right, so I need to come round here. <laughs> Sorry, just as AD switched the corner camera. So, right, here we go, right. Let's get this gold spread out. And I need to go slightly left because I want to leave the centre for what's about to happen next. So this is my band of gold. 
the gold's quite important because what I'm going to put on next is going to sit beautifully next to it, so I need to get the gold spread out. Happy days. That's quite nice up there. We'll just give that a little spread out. Now I'm going to need to definitely give that a spray as well because I need that to spread with what's gone underneath it, so that's fine. The fans are going on really nicely. Let's get the white done. Don't mind if it still has a little bit of a uh, little wall of, you know, sort of wobble near it. That's what I'm looking for. It's little wobbles. That's absolutely fine. I'm hitting the lime and I'm hitting the silver as well. Now before I start on the centre, I need those to get a good spray. And we're going to go double bubble now, guys. We're going in with uh, special sauce. Double bubble. Say what? So here, let's give myself a bit of a pump. There we go. So I'm going in with the uh, with the thinners on the silver and the gold. Now, beautiful, beautiful things happen when you go when you spray these. You get all this like antique -y kind of uh, effect. Oh, it's fantastic! Absolutely love it. So that's having a really good dose. That's going to look amazing now. And then we're going to ramp that up, and we're going to go in with the special sauce. So on three, two, one, fast speed. Yes, there we go. Right, special sauce time before we get on in the middle. And I'm not putting red on tonight. I put too much red on last week. Right, special sauce. Spray that on. Yes, everywhere. Everyone's a winner. Woohoo! There we go. Now, ladies and gents, while we're on, I've got to tell you some really exciting news about next week because you may want to know what we're going to do for that. Well, well, let me tell you. While that sprays for a minute, let me tell you, while I give my eyes a rest, because it's doing that, we're going to be fusing, potentially, different paint materials together. So normally, just in here, it's just enamels only because of the fumes and all the nasty stuff. But, who's decided to mix them with acrylics? Our other kinds of paint. So we're putting a series of paint mediums together, and it's all going to get fused together. We've had a trial today. Ada discovered it by accident. Looks fantastic. We're going to have a go with that next week. So uh, do stay tuned for that one, because that's going to be uh, pretty insane. If I do say so myself, right, that's moving very, very quick. We've got to move quick now, guys, so I don't mess things up. So let's stick the uh, squeegee on from the other side. That's better. Right, OK, so I need to talk a little bit louder, apparently. So that's fine, no problem. Okay, brilliant, fantastic. So let's, that, this is the last bit, last bit of the spreading that I want to do. Who are uh, misses? And uh, that's, pre that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, marvellous, okay. So this is quite happy at the moment. I've got no problem with that at all. This is coming out just as I wanted it. Some more muted, more cool, cool colours at the moment. So we're going to put that back to slow. And now I've got to really, really be careful now about my last couple of colours. So just before we put that on, let's build the suspense up a little bit. Let's have a, let's have a quick look at the uh, chat. Um, okay, so uh, where have we got? KR, wish I had time to paint all day and money enough to use loads of paints. Yeah, this does take a lot of uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of cash to do. Trust me, it's uh, it's why we've never got any money, and we're always broke all the time. Seriously. Um, so, Artfish 42. How much does a normal can of uh, enamel cost? A normal can you can buy in the shops, maybe this size, 25, 30 pounds. But um, I'll show you actually proof of the pudding. Where is it? This is a fluorescent uh, enamel paint called Rocket Red. And uh, this is, it's, it's sort of hideously expensive. It's like three times that. So um, yeah, I mean, you can just, the more specialized you go with the tins of paint, really just the higher the numbers. So yeah, it's two to three times the cost of the normal cans. Uh, and Nelson says it's in Sao Paulo, fantastic. Uh, <coughs> Paul Burry, our clients from yesterday, AD is real, he came to our house yesterday. Yes, he is real. He's not just a figment of your imagination that just appears. Yes, I'm real. I am, I am here. I'm not just a computer voice. Hello, what would you like to listen to? 
I, I, like, I like that funny fox. Uh, did you touch him? Maybe it's a hologram, lol. Yeah, well, hey, we're, we're not allowed to do any of that at the moment, which are we, with, the, with all that's going on? But I've got to say again uh, to Paul and Donna that it's, we had a great time with you guys yesterday, so thank you very much for making us both feel very welcome. Uh, it really was an absolute uh, privilege to be able to do something for you. Okay, right, so just before we get to the centre, I promise you I'm not leaving this out for any other reason than I've got to make sure in my own head that what I'm about to do isn't the thing that completely ruins it. That's how quite important this is, all right? Now, I'm also trying to think as to whether I need to scrape some of the silver off because I've covered up the pink. So I'm just in the next 30 seconds going to thin my silver out a little bit and I'll do it from the other side. So I'm just spreading my silver out here and you may, may just see uh, that small line of pink just coming out. I don't want to overdo the pink. I don't really want to just do any of it. Hopefully you can see here on Chesco I'm keeping the, the scraper in a, uh, sorry, the, um, the tile spreader in this fairly static position. And I'm just gradually now on the slow turns here, just maneuvering and thinning some of this paint out just into some smaller bands, which is really nice because it's just going to pave way for what I'm going to do in the centre. That's better now because I've got I've got the, um, the silver giving way now to, to the pink that was underneath. This is how we came in, you know, uh, at the start. This is all about me. I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. This is all about me trying to uh, fuse together some of the things that we started last week. So, yeah, I mean, thanks to everyone who said, oh, no, no, just carry on, carry on. But it has presented me with quite a logistical challenge, I must admit. So, What's going to be really interesting is doing, you know, as this dries is to report back next week to you guys and show you what exactly this has turned out like, right? Because it's very odd to try and uh, assess what it looks like when it's spinning around, especially at high speed. Okay, right. Let's just do a check before we get in. Now, can anybody guess? Quite a bit of school, this, isn't it? Can anybody guess what colour, the single colour, I'm going to put in the centre? I'd like to say there's, there's points or prizes for it, but uh, it's just for fun, at this stage anyway. Let me know if you think what colour is going to go in the centre, and I'm really trying to hit dead centre. My line is basically that purple in the centre, and that's what I'm going to try and hit. And I've got a feeling that's going to be the last line on. So what's it going to be, guys? Which colour am I going to put on last? is betting red. All oh, right, so we started it off with red. Honey Fox reckons pink, no silver. I can tell you now it's not going to be silver because there's the silver, Tanya. So you can have another go. Swap Yankee says black, interesting. Paul says black, yeah. Pink up. <laughs> Pinkie Pie is definitely up for a pink, isn't she? I wonder why that is, eh, Pinkie Pie? I wonder why, pink. Actually, I've, I've got an admission to make. Uh, to, to pink and buy. Uh, your suggestion of pink and whoever else said pink. If what I put on as my last colour doesn't go right, yes, pink is going on. So you're kind of like, you'll realise why when I stick it on it, so it really does ruin it. Okay, right, time for two more, oh, two more. Denise Week's pink, Stanley Kubrick, getting Stanley Kubrick says blue, copper, don't have any copper. Uh, yeah, Rita, yeah, you're right, there's not much on the floor tonight, is there? Yeah, but we've, we've kind of spread everything out, really, tonight, so, uh, it is the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, probably some mad colour, so Derek Austin's going for yellow. <laughs> uh, right, so, <laughs> thumbs up from Pinkie Pie, awesome, right. Okay, I'm ready, I'm going to reveal what colour I'm going for. We are going for, have we got a dun dun dun, mate? We're going to go for the colour for... <laughs> I 
<laughs> and, and, and he's really laughing down in my ear and I like, he was like no oh, mate that was brilliant well done you and we just thought just as we're gonna go for it we lose the signal we couldn't do that to you guys i would be ironic now wouldn't it if uh, the internet went down well i'm gonna politely reveal to you the color i'm going for is dun 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 I think it's got to be done. Now, this is this is this is really interesting now because I'm just going to wet the edge of the gold. So gold and black together, phenomenal. So my plan, my cunning plan, you see, is to put on the black next to the gold, and then if that doesn't go right, because I got purple next to that, I could put a thin line of pink. In fact, actually, fair play, pink to play. I've got a feeling that that might look really nice just with that single, very tiny line, like I've done with the uh, yellow here. We might go with a single line of pink. In fact, the more I think about that, the nicer it feels. Right. Whew. Okay. I'll give a shout out to AD. Hey, are we ready for this then, buddy? Should we, should we just get it on? Should we, uh, should we have a go? Do it. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's finish this off. Come on, Ed. Get the black on there. What are you waiting for? No chopper taking you away today. Uh, it's, it's, the, the, the day's never the same unless Arnold Schwarzenegger puts in an appearance. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go, I've got to wait for the join. There's the join, I've got to wait for it to come back mate, next time. Here we go, let's see if I can do it. Oh, missed it again. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to get it this time. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Right, for some reason I've lost AD in my ears, which is uh, quite disconcerting because now I feel completely cut off from everything and everybody. So I'm just going to check. Oh, he's lost his battery, he's just shouting at me. Oh, he's lost his alright, lost me. Right, hang on a second. Let's check mine. Okay. Yeah, my light's on, so I think he's lost his, so he'll be back in a second, that's fine. Right, we've got a black on, so I think now I need to get my scraper. No, I keep calling it a scraper, it's not a scraper, is it? Ed? It is a tunnel spreader for me. Right, hang on, I'm just going to check my battery again. I think I've got a blue light, guys, just bear with me. No, right, it's me. Sorry, everyone. thought that was a blue light, it's not it's blue paint. Right, okay. I just need to change that out, so I can just give me a second. Okay, got you now. Right. Yeah, I got, I got one, mate. I've just, I had a spare one. Yeah, thanks. Okay, got another battery now. Right, okay. Right, so I'm okay, one. although we can't hear me. Uh, I did have a spare he, battery, actually, you, mate. Oh, you had a spare yeah, battery? so I just took one out. I, I, to be honest, I'm just trying to go. Yeah, I... I saw it. You can hear I, me now. I can definitely hear you. I couldn't see Good. the red light flashing because there's blue paint on top of the LED window, typically. Oh dear. That was a brand new battery as well. Because my mic moved off my face. Uh, is that better? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry everyone. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be us if there wasn't some drama, would it? Right, okay, I've got to try and get my gloves on. I'm going as quick as I can because that's not I don't want that to dry. Oh lordy, it's all going on. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, that's come back to bite us now, wasn't it? I was just playing with the thing saying we've got gremlins and now we actually have got gremlins. <laughs> oh, the irony is not lost. Right, come on, Ed, stop faffing around. Get yourself moving, son. Oh, I literally can't get these on because my hands are so 
Look at, look at the... Right, okay, come on in. Right, sort it out. Other side, other side, here we go. And then we'll see if we can get the pink in. I think we're probably going to need it. So here we go. Great big band of black. Dun, dun, dun. But let's get that over into the gold. Don't panic, everyone. It will all be all right. We're going to give that a little spray of our special sauce very shortly, just before we finish. Now the barrel's going to have to stay rotating. Now we set it for four or five hours last time. And we've got a few drips at the end of the canvas, so we're going to set it on for six hours to rotate overnight. And it should hopefully mean, especially as we haven't got enormous clumps of paint going on, that it should be sufficient for it to not clump together. So we're just going to gently pull this out. And I'm going to pull this out to the other side. Now we've still got a little bit of movement in the purple underneath, which is one of the earlier colours. And this is the whole point of, of spraying it, because it needs to spread out and keep itself liquid. Awesome. See, there's method in all my madness. John Zapata is here. Thank you, John, for joining us. You're late. You've got to do 100 lines at the back of the classroom, I'm afraid. But uh, we're only joking. Thanks for joining us. It's great to see you. Wow, Artfish42 has donated $25 towards Pantone. Thank you, Enjoy this every week. Wow, Artfish, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. This is fantastic. I really, we really appreciate it. On behalf of us both, thank you so much. Thank you. Right, so John Zapata says, do the sauce. I'm going to show you what the sauce is doing. This is looking great. Loving that with the band. Oh, this has really separated it out. Look at that. Great. Get in there with the special sauce. That's what you all come in for. Let's get it on there. And I'm going to do... I'm going to... Oh, still spraying. Stop. Still spraying all over my laptop. Ah! The laptop's covered in special sauce. Whoopsie. Say what? Right, uh, it's an extra startle. <laughs> right, okay, Pinkie Pie, you got it. We are last one of the night doing a thin line of pink next to the... I knew that's what it needed. Look. Because we've got silver, we've got silver going into white, going into that lilac, which is beautiful. And I just want to define that edge. She's good, she's good. Let's get the pink out. Pinkie Pie's getting her pink. Got to be done. Right, let's do this. It was a great suggestion, and I love it. Right, okie dokie, Skipper. Straight out the tin. Let's go nice and easy. No, it's not. No, no, Aidy always tells me, don't get it out of the tin when you don't need a lot. Because you'll end up putting too much on. So we're just going to do the shot glass full. Right, let's just pop that there. Guys, just while I'm here, check out the banner at the back. That awesome banner made by Signlink Graphics. Thank you, Alex. There you go, you can give us a follow on all of our social networks. We are literally everywhere, even TikTok. Fabulous, tons of stuff going on. Always loads of things going on on uh, Pinterest in the corner. If you're business orientated, the LinkedIn account has got a million different really cool things on it. Pinterest is awesome, by the way. You've really got to check it out. Make sure you give us a subscribe on the YouTube channel. That button there, guys, really helps us deliver this every single week. That's the serious message here. Thank you so much, because your support is amazing, all right? We really appreciate it. Are we ready for the last one of the night? Pinkie Pie, I hope you're standing by. Woo! Now the question is, do I do it next to the black? Not next to the black. I think I'm going to do it just slightly off the black. And uh, just about there, where it's a bit lilac-y. So, uh, what's my brummy accent coming out? A bit lilac-y. It's more li lilac like Okay, right. Shall we do it then on three? So, oh, I've got to catch the edge. I've got to catch the edge. No, good at the top. Here we go. Aid is now saying uh, uh, my straight lines are pretty terrible, so uh, I'm sure you're not privy to that conversation, but yeah, that is pretty terrible. But hey, we got pink on, guys! Woohoo! That is Yay! nice! Yes! <laughs> Loving that!
So I think we're on fairly slow settings. So what I'm going to do here is just drop it all the way down. Oh, that's looking nice. So hopefully this is what we've done. We've, <clears throat> we've still managed to feature some of the colours that were underneath and we've used those as a basis for the painting this evening. We've gone in from both ends and we've gone blue and we've softened the blue. We've gone in with the duck egg and the sort of very like kind of uh, you know greeny sort of uh, bluey kind of colour. A kind of like water kind of blue colour. And then we fused it in with that fantastic purple metallic and we've got that as a feature on both ends. And then we, we treated ourselves to a little soup of a sunset down here, marvellous. In goes the green, green grass of home. And then we've got all metallic and deep and tempestuous in the middle with this tiny burst of life coming out in the pink. I mean, what a fabulous set of co colour combinations. I'm, I'm, this is so nice. I could even see this even split into two and hanging side by side. I mean, that would just look amazing. So we hope, obviously, guys, that this will be nice and dry so we can take some photos of it and present it with you next week because you helped us paint it this evening, which is fantastic. Ah, this is going great, guys. Let's, right, well, that's just rotating slowly. Hopefully, you've got some really good pics on all the cameras that we're picking up. Honestly, here, it looks amazing. I'm just going to hold the special sauce in my hand just in case we have a final go at it. But the metallics, wow. Now, look at these. Look at that. So what we've got here, guys, I'm going to stop that. Right, I'm just going to stay still for a second. Now, look at here, look. So this is this gorgeous band, beautiful. We've got all the mauve and the lilac. And then we're weaving in with the dark black. This is the cutoff point for the canvas. And then slowly we come into the richness in the centre. This like this big sort of, it's almost going to be like a horizon, like a, a landscape point. But all that looks fantastic. So yeah, Zane wants to go to the overhead cam, so that's fine. There we go on the overhead. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Now I won't stop this for too long. Now, there isn't an awful lot coming off at the bottom. Um, okay, so I'll get out of the way of the corner cam. But that just gives you an idea now, just to see about how we're layering the colour combinations here. And it really is, guys. That's, that's the, the effect here is just fantastic. I can't wait to photograph this, photograph this for you. So I'm going to keep that on a slow rotation because I think that's probably what it's going to need. All right, because we'll have to be considerate about how this is going to dry. And I need to keep the paints fairly fluid so they don't clump in any one particular area. Right, so uh, Mohamed uh, Armin uh, Idreis uh, loves it. Thank you, Mohamed. Very nice to see you here this evening. And uh, uh, Jeff Jenkins, can't wait to see it displayed. Reminds me of Jupiter and, Je and Neptune. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Marion Moore, watching it on an iPad, frozen out. Oh no! Uh, Funny Fox loves the colour combo. Thank you very much. Uh, Zane's giving it a thumbs up. Katie Herring, uh, the touch of pink will give you a place to rest your eyes. Yes, it will, Katie. Very good. You and Pinkie Pie have thought this through, look. You know what you're doing. You should, you guys should be here. I'll sit out there with Aidy and we, we can watch you do it. That would be so cool. Have a, like an all-star coming together where we can all have a go. If, like, if we ever won the lottery, we'll bring you all here, all right? Okay. Um, Stanley Kubrick, sweet, amazing job. Thank you, Stanley. That's really kind of you. Uh, when you stretch it with the green at the bottom, you'll have a landscape. Yes, well, this is kind of, even though I can only see a little bit of the time, you know, Bill, this is, this is the kind of thing I'm thinking about already. I'm trying to think about what this is going to look like, you know. Uh, brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that's a cracker, mate. Eh? It's, uh, it's a beauty. Yeah, it's a beauty. Thanks, thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, Zane. Really appreciate it, mate. How good are we? See, look, you don't, you don't even get this on, on, on Netflix, to be honest with you. Yeah, you get this for free. Amazing. Uh, fantastic. James Simmons, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, James, thank you so much for, for your contribution tonight. I mean, that was brilliant. We've said thank you to both of you who contributed tonight. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, Daisy Longmire loves it. Tanya Wright loves it. So, uh, yes. Another wonderful live paint stream. Thank you so much indeed. Rita wants to see it flat. Yes, so do I. I think it's going to look amazing. Um, uh, okay, so awesome, cool process from Tuan Essence. Nice to see you. Hello, Leslie likes it. Beautiful colours. 
Don't forget, if you're new here, guys, please, please, number one, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed yourselves this evening. We're coming to you free. It's at night time and it's boiling hot, but we do it because we love doing it for you guys. Most important of all, hit that subscribe button. It helps us keep the channel going. Your support means everything. Do it. Hit it. Spread the word. We'll keep coming back bigger and better and stronger. All right? Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Fantastic. Yeah, so James Sims and Artfish42, thank you so much for your contributions tonight, guys, on the chat. It's been... But you never cease to amaze us. That, that 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 really does help, you know. And it'll 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 buy us it'll buy us some tech and some equipment. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, do we do uh, prints? Uh, no, uh, we don't actually do prints. Um, it's a, it's it's something we may do at some point. At the moment, we've just got so many other things that we're doing. It's just a question of trying to piece everything together. But thank you much, Pinky Pie. Thank you so much for joining us fresh this evening. I do appreciate it. It's lovely to see you here. And thanks for your contributions. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Uh, Diana Rowe loves it. If you want to optimise the audio experience, could, perhaps you could not play music while Eddie's talking. Well, we're, we're always working on improving everything here on the channel, so we do take everybody's comments on board. So thank you very much for that, Diana. And uh, yes, as Funny Fox says, it is only originals at the moment, but hey, we never rule anything out. Okay. We are definitely, definitely going to try and sort the merch out for you guys. You can see here we've got a few early samples of mugs and some gorgeous phone cases <clears throat> so we are working on that so we're getting to it as quickly as we can for you guys perhaps t-shirts and you know that kind of thing um you know maybe sports bottles you know you can take to the gym if they ever reopen uh, that kind of thing so yeah we're really looking forward to that guys so plenty of things really coming up i, I just can't begin to tell you the amount of stuff that we're doing so it's it's just brilliant so, but uh, yeah, to, to answer the previous question about prints, we are going to be doing the 2021 calendar. And before you know it, in a heartbeat, we're going to be at that time of the year where we're starting to think about the calendars for next year. I know, sorry, but I had to mention it. Um, so when those come out, I'm sure we'll be giving some of those away on the live stream. We may have a quantity that we can sell as well. So they're brilliant. The twice we've won World Calendar Awards with them. They're amazing, beautiful things. So can't wait for that as well. So a billion things coming up, guys. And in the middle of all this, we're painting and we're doing it live for you every Wednesday and um, this is the highlight of our week so I think now if we're, we're wrapping things up thank you so much for everybody for joining us this evening and for taking the time out in your busy days your evenings your family life and your jobs to come and join us we really really appreciate it so yes um okay everybody Nelson James Zane Katie Nana Maya Davanda Studios Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this evening. Aidy's just going to chip in and say thanks as well. Oh, he's going to write it. Okay, I didn't know if it's coming on the uh, right. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I think. Come and have a chat with. Come and have a chat with them, buddy. Right. Well, I just check this. Well, well said, buddy. It's, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure many of you do appreciate exactly probably what it takes certainly to put on a live stream, but, you know, we're also a, a functioning and thriving business as well, and it's just the two of us. And, uh, you know, as, uh, as Paul and uh, Donna will testify to, you know, we, we want to give everybody the best of us that we possibly can. This is just one side of it, but the other side of it is, just, you know, we, we're here and that's what we do. We, we sell paintings, originals all around the world, and it's great to meet everybody who's part of that and you're as part of this just as much as anybody else so guys thank you so much as always and we really really sincerely appreciate it on behalf of us both anywho i think that's just about us done ladies and gents thank you so much for watching this evening we really really appreciate it wherever you are whoever you're with please stay safe and well we're going to be back here next week and hopefully with an amalgamation of all kinds of weird and wonderful materials Say goodbye to the barrel machine because that will be going for now. 
will be back probably flat on the floor with another giant piece of canvas and some really interesting things going on. So we hope to see you this time next week. If you know anyone who wants to watch, pop them a link out, give them a call, send them a message, however you want to do it. But we look forward to welcoming more of you again this time next week. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. And on this very, very warm Wednesday evening, wherever you are, from Suarez HQ, on behalf of the big man and myself, we wish you a very good evening and good night. <laughs>